All right, Ken, thank you. Henderson fire crews are at Calabunga Bay this morning for a specialized water rescue training. This, of course, of course, right as monsoon season kicks off, so they want everyone to be ready. Yeah, and Fox 5's Dylan Kendrick is actually going to be part of it. In fact, he's in the water right now, I believe, <laughs> and Henderson fire captain Brett Nash is standing by uh, with the play-by-play. -play. Hey, Brett, how's it going? Morning. Morning. So what's happening out there and what's Dylan? What are you guys having Dylan do? Well, Dylan's going to be jumping in and the crews are going to be uh, rescuing him uh, out of the uh, water to simulate what we do if somebody were to get stuck inside of a swift water emergency. Oh, and, boy. And you guys get those swift water emergencies very often. What I don't think people realize how quickly those washes and, and parts of the city um, get flooded and cause the swift water. Yeah, you know, a lot of the times there's, it doesn't even have to be rain in the valley. It can come from the mm -hmm. mountains and, you know, it just entices kids to get in them and they have no uh, idea of the uh, speed and the, uh, the power of water and it, they get themselves in a, in a tough situation that they can't get themselves out of. And so we just saw Dylan be rescued there and put into the boat. Um, how hard is this for your firefighters and, and what can the difference be? I mean, Dylan was obviously willing and uh, conscious. How hard can it be if they're trying to save someone who maybe can't help them as much? Well, you know, that's a big problem is, is once they get inside, they're so fatigued from trying to uh, get themselves out that they, they really can't do anything themselves. And, you know, some of these storm drains, they, the speed of the water is between 20 and 30 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. So it makes a rescue very, very difficult. Um, so it's tough for that person, one, because they're so fatigued they can't do anything for themselves. And then it's super dangerous for the crews to get in there and uh, get them out. Uh, so, Captain, what do you hope to accomplish with this training today? Uh, we're going to be out here all morning long trying to get them out, and, and they, we do this training uh, every two years. So every two, or uh, twice a year, I should say. Twice a year we come out here, and, and Wet and Wilds, or Cowabunga Bay is, is nice enough to let us get out here and train, and, and it's, it's valuable training for us. And, and lastly, if we do find ourselves in this awful situation, what is the best thing we can do for survival? Well, you know, early activation. Don't try self-rescue. Immediately call 911. If you're inside of a vehicle and your vehicle stuck, stay inside of your vehicle. Do not try to get out. Do not try to cross the stream. Stay inside of your vehicle. Access 911 early and then wait for us to get there and, and, and get you out. All right. Go ahead and hand it on over to Dylan and just have tell him to wrap him. it up for us because he, he can't hear us either. <laughs> All right. Well, oh. let me just uh, break it down for you guys real quick. That is not an experience when you have those waves and you're being pulled up from every part of your body by rescuers. Mm. It's not really a fun experience, but it definitely puts it into perspective just the power of water when it's moving around you. Again, the whole reason we're out here uh, to prep you guys for any of this uh, storms that may... Uh, May, sorry, guys, I'm out of breath. Any of the storms <laughs> that may impact us through monsoon, monsoon season this summer. Wow, what an impressive experience. Yeah, yeah all Dylan. right, Dylan. Yeah, thank you. But it just goes to show how you can get out of breath while mm -hmm. you're trying to survive waiting for them. Mm -hmm. So first responders want to keep you safe, as well as all of us here at Fox 5. In fact, we have a special. It's called the Monsoon Special, and it is going to be Thursday, June 27th at 6 p.m. You're going to want to watch that. I know uh, Cassandra and the whole weather team uh, put a lot of time into oh, this yeah. special. So uh, check it out on Thursday, June 27th at 6 p.m.